Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the data uploads. What are the key points that we need to be checked before uploading the data into the SIL system? Generally, data uploads Sorry, generally the data uploads will play a major role in projects like implementation and rollout as we will be uploading the legacy data into the SAP system. In this process, we will be converting the legacy data format fields or values into the and then we will be uploading into SAP. In this process, we might get many issues if we do not understand what kind of data is coming from legacy system and how we need to convert that into SAP system. Here, both functional and technical team has to work together to understand the data and the conversion. I am mentioning few points here which functional has to be taken care at time of uploading. The first point if you see it's a date format. Generally in SAP there will be different date formats that can be maintained for each user. That means each user in SAP can have different date format based on his country. Like in, in USA, the date format would be like MM slash DD slash YYYY. In India kind of countries, it's like DD hyphen YY hyphen MM sorry DD hyphen MM hyphen YYYY. That means date, month and year. So, these kind of things handled in a program might not work if the current SAP project or current program is going to be used by different locations. And for that, the ABAP consultant has to write a little complex logic to handle any kind of format to convert that into SAP internal format as that is not necessary because up generally in upload programs we will be uploading huge amount of data so in that cases we should not give any performance load to the upload programs so by maintaining and passing this date in internal format to the program will help the performance of the program as well as the effort it, it will reduce the effort of the ABAP consultant. Next, if the upload is by Excel document, make sure that the entire Excel document is converted into the text format like each cell in Excel has to be converted into the text format because if suppose we are passing a value 0000, 0001001 and we are pasting that in Excel you can observe that that preceding zeros will be removed automatically and that removed data will be sent to the SAP system. So here there is a chance of losing some data. So, it is must 
and it's mandatory to convert the entire excel document cell format as a text and place the data inside of it make sure that all the formats in text format next if any field in sap has conversion exist then need to maintain the data in internal format i will give you a small example First, let us consider the unit of measurement. Unit of measurements will be having two different values, one for internal storing and other for, for displaying purpose. So if we try to pass the external format or external value default data elements of data element of unit of measurement that will convert into a wrong value else again he need to convert do the conversion for that value to convert into the internal format as I told you try to possibly give the internal values as that helps the performance of the report if you see here sum of the unit of measurement values will be different compared to the internal format let us take one small unit of measurement value where that can actually help us yes you can see here this mu l previously here we, we were able to see the different value I'm just converting it back so that you can observe the difference So let's find out the value where yes see if, if you see here it's a 4G but after doing conversion it is displayed like UF so we should only update the internal value like 4G else that might result some other unit of measurement after doing the conversions so this is one of the key aspect and try to use the tab delimited text files or the text documents rather than using the excel documents as uploading of the text documents are much much faster than uploading the, the excel document because internally SAP has to convert the binary data of the Excel, Excel document into the SAP internal format and even though if you, if you saw the size of the Excel documents and text documents text documents are much lesser weight than the Excel documents so try to upload as much as possible using tab delimited text files or comma delimited text files this is one of the key points that need to be remembered and one more thing is like make sure the BDC programs or upload programs have a test run possibility and also remember that test run for BDC programs might not be possible in many of the cases only for the BAPIs it is possible so keep this in mind 
and make sure the screen configurations of transactions in all the system are in sync because in case of BDC programs if any fields which are there in the development which we have done the recording and those fields are missing in the quality system or production system then the BDC program will fail so keep in mind that always make this configurations in sync else we might get some difficulties when executing this BDCs programs now what are the types that we actually we need to suggest in developing the program for the developer like maximum case try to look for the BAPIs if any standard BAPIs are there to upload the data if there is no BAPIs then tell the BAP consultants to look for the function modules which means any uh, in the back end any function modules are using to update the data in the transaction if that case is also not possible then go for LSMW if LSMW is not supported for your data then last go for a BDC programs please do not directly go for a BDC programs as it has many constraint constraints in terms of execution when any system level changes has happened BAPIS will not affect any of these kind these kind of screen level changes or configuration level changes so maximum go for the BAPIS next the technical key points here the technical people will be converting the legacy data into the SAP internal format using their logics. Here the main thing that we need to remember is if the fields has a conversion exits try to convert the data into the internal format. If the data is not converted and sent to this programs then we should must convert that into the internal format the next one is date amount quantity fields we will be using some internal tables to capture the data to, to hold the data at runtime in the program so that internal table that table fields try to take all the type all the fields as character as there will not be any automatic conversions that applies when uploading the data into the table generally if you observe if you are using any standard function modules to upload the excel documents or some kind of thing the dates and this amounts these kind of things will automatically convert and place it in the field if you are using a standard data element so my suggestion is try to declare the character format then convert it into the internal format next when you are passing the data into the screens BC screen is nothing but a manual transaction that we are running in background multiple times it's actually a user who is posting multiple data so when you are passing date amount and quantity try to convert them into the external format external format in the sense with slashes like that date if the date has uh, internal format if you pass that internal format to the BDC then that will throw an error because unknown date uh, there is no year called 1015 or something like that 9999 is the date so try to convert the date into the external format which is system external format you can convert it by using 
write statement simple write statement write whatever the variable uh, that variable to the destination variable it will automatically convert the data into the uh, system external format then amounts and quantities has remove the uh, extra spaces in the fields in the character format and pass it to the screens this is one of the key points that we need to do when we are doing dealing with the bdc programs and i've given a small example of dd mmyy so we should convert the internal format into this external format this date depends on the system in case of bapis try to convert all the data into the internal format because bapi expects the data in internal formats example like material number 1 is different from 00001 in bapis profit center or cost centers anything any value which has a conversion exit conversion exit if the value is passing without conversion applying the conversion exit then it think it has a some value then it will check for that value so obviously generally in many cases it will not be finding that value so it will be throwing error unknown value 11101 so try to convert all the data into the internal format and use it in the bapis pass to the bapis and carefully pass the data into the tables if you are using the bapis means in many of the programs by time or by uh, less uh, in development time we would be not taking care of clear statements in the loops or uh, passing duplicate values one after the other so try to be very careful when we are uh, passing the values into the uh, bapi tables and same in case of uh, bdcs also try not to pass without clearing the old values okay every time we need to clear that otherwise the inconsistent data will be uploaded and again the we 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 should be working hard to revert the, them back and very important thing in case of uploads is for develop for technical team we should get possible test data for different cases of the program of the transaction because initially for testing purpose we might take one or two test cases to test that bapis or bdcs but remember that in sap based on the different case there are few fields become mandatory and system will expect some data so try to take all the possible test data from the functional and get all the possible scenarios from functional and try to apply in the program else the program might move to the quality for one or two scenarios and it will be successful where other scenarios it might fail so this is very important thing that even functional and technical has to take care that the possible test cases has to be handled through the programs thank you very much hope many of the people knows it but it's my uh, key points that uh, uh, i used to uh, remember and we used to apply in case of the data upload programs thank you very much and for any suggestions and comments please comment on the below video and subscribe to this channel thank you very much